The new HBO miniseries Chernobyl has critics raving and Americans talking. The portrayal of the Soviet nuclear meltdown had devastating effects, and that includes children who were born after the incident who face a long list of medical issues. In tonight's local original, Central North Carolina is playing its own part in helping those children have better lives. generations, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster is as foreign to them as the Soviet Union itself. But the details of how the meltdown happened and the bureaucratic dysfunction surrounding it has never been more clear as it is in HBO's miniseries of the same name. It's changed my life. Mm -hmm. It's changed my life uh, completely. Well, one thing I noticed is like, you know, they come here so just pale and shallow mm -hmm. cheeks and very down and out. They are the children of Chernobyl, including those who live in Belarus, where 70% of the radiation landed. Some of those children made their way to central North Carolina and into the homes of Mary Sherritts and Beverly Norris. We got our hair cut and cleaned and new clothes, modern clothes, shoes without holes in them. Um, their teeth fixed, their teeth cleaned, and they had bright rosy cheeks, and they just like, looked like totally different children when they left. Over the years, parishioners at Green Pines Baptist Church in Nightdale have hosted them and gotten the children free medical, eye, and dental care. They often return as they grow into adults, becoming family for some who couldn't have children of their own. She comes up, and she pats me on the back, and she says, Tony, Tony, like it was no hope for me to learn Russian. But Tony Hobbs and his wife did learn love, even though he can't bring himself to say how much. I don't even have an answer for that. And if I did, I'd probably start bawling. I don't, I, it touched me. It touched me deeply. It's the same for Mary. As we got to know the children, then we grew to love them and incorporate them in our lives. And so it went beyond just hosting the children as, as we were able to travel to Belarus and try to help more children there. There in Belarus, they saw firsthand the hardships, including the orphanages where so many children still go unhelped. For the pastor at Green Pines, helping the children includes a lesson to bring home. To love our neighbors here is the same way. You've got to interact, you've got to get to know them, you've got to let them be a part of your life, hosting the friends around you. And remembering there's always going to be someone who needs it. Pastor Scott is so right about that. And one thing that I didn't really get into into this is when they traveled to Belarus, how they were so taken by the level of poverty that some of these kids they helped who are adults now making $7 a day cutting the wow. heads off cabbages. So just imagine trying to live a, a normal life with all this background and, and past plus just trying to pay the bills and, and eat healthily. And you're right. So many people have forgotten. That's right. This, so, all right, Russ, great story. Thanks.